Hello and good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How's it going? Are we ready? Are we ready yeah. to start or no? Are you ready to continue with your English process? Yes. Yes. yes you had a good weekend. Did you have a good weekend? Saturday, Sunday was good. You had a family time. Yeah. Or you worked. Did you work? Or Maybe. you working? You were working, huh? I know. I know. It's not it's not easy. It's not easy. It's difficult for some people. Some people only study. Some people only work. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me see. We're going to start with objective number five right now. Let's check. Tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Let me know. Can you see it? Yes. Okie doke. All right, let me see. I have um, participants. I don't have all my participants yet, um, but let's start. Let's do a little recap from last class, right? While the other people come. What was the previous topic? Do you remember the last class? Uh. You don't remember the last class. I remember the first topic is the colors. Yeah. What else? And possessive. Excellent. And um, present continuous. Woohoo! That's the one I want to talk about. Present continuous. Yeah? Leak, no podré participar. Who's that? Hey, sir. Okay, here, sir. Solo voy a mencionar tu nombre ahí en la asistencia para, para estar ahí. Okay? No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Hey, why don't we... I know, miss. I know. Thank you, miss Hazer. <laughs> okay. Um. Why don't you... Um, remind everybody about the formula. Do you remember the formula for the present continuous? Remember that some people say present continuous or present progressive. It's the same. It's lo mismo, right? It's the same. So what is the formula? Do you remember? The formula is subject plus. Subject. Wait, wait, wait. Subject. Uh huh. Plus verb to be. Plus verb to be. Yes. Plus ing. Eng or ing. Sorry, ing. Okay, okay, okay. What else? It was the verb. The verb with ing. Yep. Yes. Plus complement. Do you remember do you remember the time markers? Do you remember the time markers for the present continuous? Okay, cuando decíamos en simple present, um, las rutinas y eso, actividades que hacemos todos los días, ahora son, eh, decíamos today, decíamos today, decíamos um, on Saturdays, on Sundays. Sorry about that. Okay. 
for the present continuous, we use right now. Repeat, right now. Right, right now. now. Right, right now. Right now. Now. Right now. At this moment. Yes? At this time. At this time. As we speak. Okay, quiere decir que está pasando ahorita, right? Excellent, excellent. And for the negative, it's very similar. You already saw this. Solo agregamos ahí el negation word is not, right? And um, the same, complement, time marker. So tell me, tell me what are you doing right now? In what aren't you doing right now? Do you understand? I need one affirmative and I need one negative. I need two sentences. Think about it. Prepare yourself. For example, myself, I am teaching a basic class right now. At this moment, I am teaching an English basic class. I am not swimming in the swimming pool. I want to, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not uh, driving my car. Nope. I am teaching an English class. So let's go over the attendance. And this way you will tell me, you will tell me your examples. Yes? You ready? Yes, yeah, teacher. Do you understand the dynamic? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. In that case, let me get ready for the attendance. Here we go. 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 Let's see. Oh, okay. There you are. So do I have Amalia Gabriela Perez Argueta? Daniel Enrique Martinez Velasquez? Present, teacher. Teacher, present. Got it. Got it. All right, Danny. Got you. Right. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. Enrique Aurelio Solis Martinez. Oh, wait, wait. Se me escapaba. Tienen que darme su example. Amalia, Amalia, you there? Hey, Amalia. Okay, tell me, tell me what are you doing right now and what aren't you doing right now? No? Okay, get ready. Danny, are you ready, Danny, for your example? Daniel, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yes. for it. Yeah. For example, uh, one or two examples. It's one affirmative example and one negative example. What are you doing in this okay. moment? And what are you what aren't you doing in this moment? Uh, I'm eating. I'm eating cooking. You eating? You eating cookies? Cookies. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm... Negative. I know. I... Okay. I'm not using my phone. I'm not using. I'm not using my phone. Very good. Very good. I, I'm not using my phone. Using. The verb is use. Repeat. Use. Use. Using. Using. Thank using. you, Daniel. Elena, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go for it. Okay. Um... I am studying English right now. And yes. I am not watching TV with my family right now. Awesome. At this moment. Awesome. You got it, girl. Congratulations. Enrique Aurelio Thank Solis you. Martinez. Hey, Sir Rocio Pastrande Enriquez. Ya nos dijo. Está por ahí. Presente, teacher. 
Pero Enrique. No de la reunión. Sí, Excelente. Estoy teniendo problemas. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Sí, ya me sacó como, como dos veces, me sacó ya la aplicación de la reunión. Oh, my goodness. ¿Qué está lloviendo ahí? ¿Dónde estás tú? Eh, fíjense que solo está así como que eléctrico, se podría decir, pero no está lloviendo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, entonces tal vez nos das tu participación cuando estés más disponible, ¿ok? Ok, chicas, aquí We no have está one... de cualquier forma. Si no, nos mandas ahí al chat, ¿ok, Enrique? Ok, teacher. Thank you so much for being connected. Hey, Siri is also in the house. Ileana Elizabeth Hernández Juárez, you there? Present. All right. I'm listening. Present continues. I am listening. <laughs> um, I am listening. I am listening to the class. Repeat, 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 repeat. I am listening. Listen. Mm, nos falta algo, nos falta ING. Porque Entonces, listen, si tengo, pero no. porque listen, si usted me dice listen, es escuchar. Entonces usted me estaría hablando de algo que usted hace rutinario. Ese sería el, el tiempo presente simple, chicos. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir I listen to music, I listen to rancheras music every night. Every night, cada noche es una rutina. I listen to, I listen to Temerarios Music um, every Sunday. Entonces, cada domingo, imagínense, cada domingo. Entonces, eso es rutina, es simple present. Entonces, por eso es que es la diferencia con el present continuous. El verbo, el verbo secundario, porque el verbo primario es el verbo be. ¿Ya? Yeah? I am, right? Entonces, um, hay que ponerle ING a ese verbo. I am listening, ¿ok? I am listening. Es que así lo tengo, teacher, pero no lo pronuncio así. Miss, ¿por qué la veo así de ladito? Ah, porque estoy desde el teléfono. Ah, ok. I thought, ok, there you go. There you go. So, you have your examples. Can you repeat your examples, please? I am to the class. Aha, uh -huh. affirmative, aha, uh -huh. negative. I am not using notebook. I am not. Creo que estaba usando el verbo, ese verbo, el usar. Use, se dice using, creo que es la segunda vez ya con Dani lo usó, ¿verdad? Using. Using what? Using. I am not using notable. La última palabra sí no la no la logro captar. Es que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Teacher literal solo veo que se mueve su boca, no lo escucho. Oh my goodness, lo siento, Patty. Sorry. Ok, Miss, nos chateas ahí entonces el, el example. Let me continue, let me continue. Okay. Let me go with Jacqueline Elizabeth Cayos Rivas. Are you there? Okay, let's go with Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. <clears throat> Jose Augusto Hernández Fernández. Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. All right, how are you, Karen? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Voy a hacer mi mayor esfuerzo por pronunciarlo bien. <laughs> Esa es la actitud, Miss. I love it. But I am writing, describir. I am writing in the class. Yes. Yeah. I am writing the class. Uh -huh. Excellent. In I am writing the, the class. Uh -huh. I am not eating. Así. Solo, sí, no sí, sí, I am not eating, solo quizás el time marker, el marcador de tiempo. I am not eating right now. I am eating, I am not eating right now. Ajá, y pulamos la pronunciación de la palabra de negación, se dice not. I am not. 
Eso, eso. Good job, Karen. Good job in the house. My pleasure. Um, Lilian, Elizabeth Aguilar Humberger. Maria Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Present teacher. All right, Maria, how are you? I'm ready for you. Uh, uh, I driving. I driving. Uh, I am not dancing in the moment. Okay, you are driving your car right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and what is the negative? Can you repeat the negative? I am not dancing in the moment. Dancing. <laughs> dancing okay. in the moment. <laughs> Sería bailando, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Dance, diga, dance. Yes, that, dancing. Then dancing. I Eso. am not dancing, dancing in the moment. All right. Good job. Good job. Be careful. Be careful on the street, okay, Maria? <laughs> and okay. Mar Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. How are you, sir? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go ahead, please. I am sitting now, and okay. I am not watching movies. Repeat your negative, please. I am not watching movies. Correct. Well done, sir. Well done. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Let's go with Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here. How are you, sir? You ready? Yes. Go for it. I'm watching English class in the in, in my cell phone. All right. And I uh, am not running in the park. Okay, running. I am not running. I am not running in the park. Okay. I am listening to the class. I am not using my notebook. Era notebook. Cuaderno. Note. Notebook. Good job, Nivardo. Good job, guys. Mauricio Enrique Crespin Lopez. Are you there? Mauricio, she's not in the house. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejia. Neri Gabriel Villagran Sandoval. Patricia Yamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Present teacher. How are you, Rick? Go for it. Okay. I am writing in my English class. Okay. Wait, I wait, wait. Not I am, I am writing at this moment. I am I am writing my English class. I am writing my my English class in the link. English class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I am not eating at this moment. Correct. Eating. Puede decir eating suena bien británico con la T eating. así bien exaltada o, o la, la T así como R como acento americano. Eating. Eating. I am not eating. Yeah. Repeat. Okay. I am not okay, eating. Okay. I am not eating at this correct, moment. Correct. Correct. I am not eating pupusas. I am not eating tacos. I am having my class. I am listening to my class. I am writing my class. Excellent. Well done. Well Thank done. You, Congratulations, Rick. Let's go with Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Are you there? Present teacher. And Ready? I am Yes, I am paying attention to the class and I am not cooking dinner. You have a great pronunciation, lady. Congrats. Well done. Stephanie Daniela Maltes Vasquez, are you there? Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melana. Present teacher. Hi, how are you? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Okay. I am studying English. English? I am, yes. I am not uh, watching TV. 
Correct. I am not watching TV. I am receiving my English class. Excellent. Well done. Well done, Tamar. Tatiana Lice Ramos Gomez. My pleasure. Tati, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Hi there, Tiff. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go for it. Um, I am studying English at the moment and I'm not using the computer right now. I like it, except the pronunciation of the negation word. Puede ser que por lo del español, ¿verdad? Todavía no la perfeccionemos, chicos. Pero quiero que sonemos nativo con esa palabra. Not. I am not. Yo sé que dice not. Pero no leamos, vamos a pronunciarlo todos. Not. I am not. All right? Not. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. I am not. Excellent, excellent. That's the idea, to sound well. Good job, Tiffany. Good job, Veronica Abigail Martinez de Reyes. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present teacher. Hi there, Vilma. You ready? Hi, yes. Okay. I am talking in the English class right now. Yes, you are. Um, I am not. Um, I am not sleeping right now. Awesome! Great job, Vilma. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez, are you there? Present teacher. All right. How you doing, sir? Representing the men. You ready? <laughs> ready, teacher. Uh, I'm said I'm sitting learning English. I am sitting. Uh, I am not. I am sitting learning English. Wait, 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 wait. I am sitting. Y vamos a ponerle en para agregarle la otra acción, yeah? I am sitting and. And English. And, and learning. English. Repítamela para la clase, por favor. Estoy, cortó, es, estoy sent, me estoy sentando Se eh, y eh, bueno vamos a cortar acá el vídeo este um, I am sitting and learning English and learning English correct porque usted está agregando English. dos acciones guys si se fijan en el ejemplo del compañero él está agregando dos actividades porque a la vez está haciendo dos cosas verdad está a la vez sentándose y uh, estando sentado y pues uh, está pues aprendiendo right what is your negative example my negative example is uh, I am not listening to music Wonderful. I am not listening to music. Well done, Wilfredo. Congrats. All right. William Benjamin Clara Thank Galdames. You, I'm here. All right, Will. Ready? Yes. Let's go for I'm it. I'm cooking the dish with my friend. You're and cooking? I'm not playing soccer. Yes, I'm cooking. <laughs> okay, so you're listening to the class and you're cooking right now. Yes. <laughs> I can I can do that two things. We we have to be multitask nowadays. That is multitask. You have to be doing like two activities or three activities at the same time. Congratulations, William. That's a good example. Jesenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Not in the house. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and move on with our class. Let me share the screen right now and let me go with the next objective, which is this one. We'll practice a conversation between two people. Let's check that out. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will 
practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, yeah. New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion. Morning. All right. Let me see what happened here. There you go. All right. Let me share the screen one more time. We're going to practice that conversation a little bit. Can you see my screen? Can you visualize? Yes, yes. Okay, wait, we have several chats right here. Let me see. Uh, Amalia is reporting. Okay, okay. I am listening to the class. I am not. ING, Amalia. I am not playing. I am not playing soccer. The rest is fine. Okay, Natalia, you have connection issues um i am listening to the class i am not using the notebook teacher okay <laughs> okay problems with the system okay um teacher caleb is gonna be debbie okay and students are gonna be john you ready let's practice yeah. the phone rings <laughs> hello Hello. Hi. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Oh my goodness, guys. You need chicken power, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I need more passion. Okay, los que tienen uh, derecho a participar son los que están en un lugar calladito, ¿verdad? Si tú tienes ruido, pues no podrás participar en la pronunciation exercise right now. So, los que sí pueden hacerlo, les pido que hablen en voz alta, right? Con el ánimo y la pasión que los tiene en esta clase, right? So, let's start one more time. The phone rings. And I answer, hello? Hi. Hi. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's yes, four o'clock in the morning. I'm really sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's okay. I am awake now. 
<laughs> do you have any question <laughs> about this conversation, guys? Do you have any comment, any question about it? No. No? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's switch, let's switch. Now, students are Debbie. Guys, students start on three, two, one. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hello. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. 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 Hey, I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's 10 p.m., you know, um, and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 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 Four four in the morning. morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. That's okay. okay. I'm okay. awake. Oh, no. awake. Awake. No. Awake. 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 Des know. Despierto, I'm despierto, awake. ya estoy despierto, ya estoy despierto, I am awake. I am awake now. Okay, students, can you identify a present continuous example in the conversation? Calling. I am I'm calling, calling from I'm Australia. Australia. Yes. Another one? I am at a at conference in Sydney. Okay, okay, there's no ing there, so that's not present continuous. So only that example in present continuous. Great, great, great. Let's move. Let's bounce. Let me just see if I can minimize this here. Okay, so let's go with this topic now. What time is it? Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Okay, guys. We have here these examples. Can you tell me what is the first one? What time is it? What it's time is it? Three here. O'clock. Three o'clock. It is. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock. It is three o'clock. Uh -huh. Remember que siempre tienen que usar el it's. Es como decir son it's, las, ¿verdad? It's. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. O'clock. It's three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Next. What time is it? It's three o five. Three o five. It's three o five. It's three o five. Es como decir, son las tres cero cinco, ¿verdad? 
It's 3.05. ¿Me ayudan con su audio, por favor? It's 3.05. Ese O lo vamos a usar hasta las, ¿qué es? 01, 02, 03, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09. Hasta ahí. Okay. Next. What time is it? It's three. It's three. Quarter. It's past three. It's three past three past fifteen. Fifteen. It's a quarter after it's quarter. three. Vale, hay, hay muchas formas, right? La, la forma normal sería son las 3 y 15. How do you say son las 3 y 15? Fifty sí. or fifteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Con entonación 15. hacia arriba. It's Ajá. three. It's Perdón, perdón, se me fue el N ahí. Tiene que ser sin N. I'm sorry. Let me rechat it. Así, tal cual. It's 3.15. Ok. It's 3.15. Con F. 15. Ahora, recuerden que 15 puede ser igual que a uh, quarter. Uh, quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. It's three. Y ahí sí voy a usar en. Quarter. A quarter. En a quarter. En este caso sería. It's three. And a quarter. And a quarter. It's three and, and a quarter. quarter. Ahora, cuando damos la hora, ya ha ya pasado, right? Después de la hora, vamos a usar la palabra past. O podemos usar la palabra uh, after. Es decir, que aquí puedo decirlo también de esa forma. Puedo usar. Um, son un cuarto pasada las tres. ¿Cómo me dirían eso? It's a quarter past three, past fifteen. It's bien. It's three. Cincuenta, cincuenta. Es un cuarto pasada las tres. It's, it's a quarter it's... past three. Correct. It's a quarter past three. Past three. Correct. Acuérdense que podemos usar past o podemos usar after. Ahí pude decir it's a quarter after three. ¿Ok? Next. What time is it? It's uh, three o'clock. No. Tres treinta. Ah, tres treinta, perdón. It's, it's, uh, it's three. three and 13. Va, la forma normal, las 3.30. It's 3.13. It's 3.30. Repeat, it's 3.30. It's 3.30. It's 3.30. Excellent, three excellent. Three Everybody 30. repeating, it's 3.30. 30. It's 3.30. Acuérdense three que ten. todas las pronunciaciones con la TH es el sonido Z. Tenemos que pronunciarlo three. con nuestra lengua posicionada three. afuerita para que suene como la Z. Th, th, thir, it's, 30. It's th, 30. It's igual, ahí van dos Z con el 3, ¿verdad? It's 3. It's 3.30. Repeat, guys. It's 3.30. It's 3.30. Mm -hmm. sure. yes, sir. Ya no se utiliza el media. ¿El cuál? Media o media, para decir tres y media. Mm, Medio recuerdo que, que se utilizaba el media. Se usa en a half. En ah. a half. Como cuando decimos y media, puedes decir it's three and a half. And a half. Mm -hmm. It's three and a half. And a half. 
La otra forma, it's half. It's half. It's half past, past three. Correct. It's half past three. It's half past three. Half, half past three. Mm. O puedo decir, it's mm. half after three. Yeah? It's half mm. after three. Got it? It's half past three, correct. Vaya, ahora acá, what time is it? 3.40, forma normal, las 3.40. It's 3.40. It's 3.40. It's 3.40. Perfecto. 3.40. 3.40, perfecto. All right. Ahora, la otra forma, podemos usar to o podemos usar before. Si antes podía usar past y podía usar after, ahora puedo usar to o puedo usar before. ¿Cuál les parece? Es lo mismo. Before. A ver, ¿cómo quedaría? Eh, son 20 para las 4. It's 20 to 4. Excelente. It's 20 to 4. Four. Four. La otra forma, it's 20 it's before. 20 after before. No, ahí no cabe el after. Ahí solo sería to o sería before. Before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 20 to 4. It's 20 to 4. It's 20 to 4. Or it's 20 before 4. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okidok, let's continue. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. Ahora que ya sabemos la forma de dar la hora, tenemos que especificar la parte del día que es, ¿verdad? Porque si solo me dice, it's 3 o'clock, yo no sé si es a.m. o si es p.m., ¿ok? Ok. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening. PM at night PM midnight AM Let's uh practice this time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven AM. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve PM. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four PM. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. Okay, let's change those expressions in a different way. Mm -hmm. Vamos a usar five minutes. Escríbanlas en su cuaderno. Write it on your notebook. Ellos le dan una forma. Usted tiene que usar otra forma. A decir la misma hora, pero en otra forma. ¿Ok? Ok. 
Okay, write your examples. Los que puedan chat, okay. chat it, okay? We have five minutes for this activity. Sí, deben de cambiarlo. Por ejemplo, ahí dice, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Fíjense, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Entonces, ok, Will, ok, Will. Sí, esto estamos haciendo ahorita. Este, Les dan una forma, por ejemplo, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Entonces, la otra forma podría ser, it's nine p.m. Pueden cambiar lo, lo de último, ¿verdad? De la parte del día por PM o AM. ¿Ok? Hagamos ahí estos ejercicios. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Creo que sí los hacemos rapidito. Les quedan unos 4 minutos. 4 more minutes. Y luego comparamos. All right. ¿Quién tiene ya el primero? Veamos. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 8 o'clock in the evening. Nope. No, in the night. Porque dice, porque dice in the morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. What is a different way to say this example? It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. Correct. It's 8 a.m. Repeat, guys. It's 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Or it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Next example. It's 12 o'clock at night. No nos vamos hasta que me la digan, chicos.
Imagínense, it's, it's three. 12 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. At night. At p.m. Ajá, es p.m. No, 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 no. Dice, it's 12 o'clock at night. At night. Son las 12. Mm -hmm. It's midnight. It's midnight, midnight. correct. Midnight. It's midnight. midnight. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Repeat, guys. Midnight. 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 Okay. Midnight. Next. It's three in the afternoon. It's three in the afternoon. Uh huh. PM. Uh huh. It's three PM. It's three. It's three PM. Repeat, guys. It's three PM. It's three. It's three PM. It's Good three job. Good three job. Good job. PM. Okay, let's go. It's three AM. What is the other form? It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. Everybody repeat. It's 3 in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> All right. It's 6 p.m. Other form? Six a.m. No. Six no. In the afternoon is one, two, three, four p.m. This is oh, six yeah. p.m. Six in the evening. Yes. Six in the evening. Everybody repeat. It's three. It's six in the evening. It's, it's six, six in the evening. evening. In the evening. Yes. It's in the evening. Number or number. Next one. It's number. It says four. It's four p.m. Can you say other form? Four in the afternoon. Correct. It's four in the afternoon. Everybody repeat. It's four in the afternoon. Yeah. It's, it's four in the afternoon. And the last one. It's 12 p.m. PM. Or? It's, it's 12. 12. 12. It's 12. It's, it's midnight. No. 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 It's 12. It's 12. Repeat. It's 12 o'clock at, at night. It's 12 noon. It's 12 noon, guys. It's 12 noon. 12. It's 12 noon. Noon, mediodía, right? Oh. Night, medianoche. All right. Let me go back and check your attendance tonight. Let me check that. Okay. Um, let's see. Amalia Gabriela Perez Argueta. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Martinez Velázquez. Present. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here. Enrique Aurelio Solís Martínez. Present teacher. Acer Rocío Pastrán de Enríquez. Ileana Elizabeth Hernández Juárez. Present. Jacqueline Elizabeth Calles Rivas. Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. Jose Augusto Hernández Fernández. Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. 
Lilian Elizabeth Aguilar Homburger. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Present teacher. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Missing in action. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Missing in action. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejía. Neri Gabriel Villagran Sandoval. Patricia Yamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Presente teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Stephanie Daniela Maltés Vázquez. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gómez. Tiffany Guadalupe Martínez Méndez. Present. Verónica Abigail Martínez de Reyes. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present teacher. Wilfredo Bonilla Álvarez. Present teacher. William Benjamín Clara Galdames. Present teacher. And Yesenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Ok, guys, eh, me entristece bastante ver bastante ausencia en este grupo, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente, no sé qué es lo que está pasando. Um, es triste ver eso en un nivel básico porque es donde pues, más eh, emoción tiene uno, ¿verdad? De, de, está iniciando el sueño, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien raro eh, la inasistencia. Chicos, entonces, de, de tarea, ¿verdad? De tarea me van a hacer... Um, Eso, usando... tiche, hablando a los salvadoreños. <ríe> me van a hacer de la hora. Quiero que me digan, quiero que me digan um, tres actividades que ustedes hagan en una hora específica. Estamos hablando de, de rutina solo para practicar la hora. Por ejemplo, una actividad que ustedes hagan exactamente a una hora puede ser wake up. Wake up significa despertarse. Entonces, van a decir I wake up y van a usar la preposición at. At es la preposición para dar la hora, ¿verdad? De la actividad. Siempre antes de la hora vamos a usar at al especificar la actividad. I wake up. wake up. Ahí te lo mandé en el chat. Check the chat. Ah, está. Sí, gracias. I wake up at 5 a.m. Entonces, eh, ese es algo puntual. Otra cosa puntual puede ser um, I finish work para okay. los que trabajan. I finish work. Yo termino mi trabajo at 5 p.m., por ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Sí, me ponen así eh, horas, ¿verdad? Eh, traten de variar que no sea exactamente la hora así como yo la puse, sino que sea quizás una o'clock, otra que sea cinco y cuarto, cinco y media, para que podamos practicar. Ok, chicos, this is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good job, guys. Bye. Good job. Congratulations. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mayaret, ¿dónde está? Jared. ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es eso?